Hi everyone and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. So, in today's video we're going to focus on one of my favorite games of all time, Mortal Kombat 10. Or X. <laughs> Depending on how you feel about it. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to extract the models and the animations from the Android version. Now there is a guide somewhere on YouTube that shows you how to get the animations and models from Mortal Kombat uh, 11 and 10 in the console one, which has more animations and all that jazz in there. However, I wasn't able to get that to work, and whenever I tried to contact the guy to ask for help, he kind of just ignored me. So I don't know what's up with that one, and I wish I could help you get animations from Mortal Kombat 11 because damn do I want those friendships. Beautiful, beautiful friendships. So, um, let's just dive in and then start working our magic. So if you can download that gigantic folder that I included inside there, you will already have everything extracted. But for some reason, if you don't want to um, have all of it, I guess I should have hosted the other files too. Mm. You can look that up and try to find it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a copy of the Android version of Mortal Kombat 10. Now, not all versions of Mortal Kombat 10 will work with this. You need a specific version of it before they patched it. Um, I think that this was the last version that they had before it got patched, and that is version 7148. And uh, this is the one that I'll be using in here. Anything above that I found had not worked with this process. It just said nope, so they patched it before then. I mean, you know, after this. But I left it in there in case you just wanted to play it or do it, whatever. So what you want to do is you want to open up your folder with the version of Mortal Kombat, the Android version. And you want to open up your copy of UModel64, which is our UE viewer. You can get it. I put the link in there so you can download it. So once you got it um, downloaded, you want to navigate to the folder that has your Mortal Kombat game. Mine's is right here. You want to click these three dots, and then you want to navigate to the folder, <clears throat> navigate to the folder, and then select folder. You don't want to check anything, it just does it automatically, and just hit OK. Give it a second to process it. It probably will take a lot longer because I have these stupid files inside here, so it might be trying to open those. So that probably was a bad idea for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to see what happens in a second. Yeah, I done broke it. Alright, hang on one second. Let me close this. And we're just going to scoot this from here to there. Okay. Give it a new folder to go to. Sorry about this. And I'm going to open up your model again. Okay, and select folder and hit OK. Now, that's what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to come up like this and it looks like nothing's here. So we want to scroll on down so we get to the part where it says cooked Android. And here you'll see all of the animations and then, um, you know, the models and everything that makes up the game. Now you can save time if you want to and just select the person that you want and their animations. Or you can be a hoarder like me and select everything with and um, select the folder and export everything so if you want to let me export everything you can just right click on the folder and then select export folder content and it'll ask you where you want to save it to and then you just want to press ok you don't have to check anything you won't, don't want to change the skeletal mesh from PSK you want to leave that as that and everything else just leave it alone and then hit ok and it'll export everything out now that's going to take a while, but like TV magic, we already have that done, and I have it organized here in our Mortal Kombat folder. So this is it when everything's done. It should be roughly about 3 gigs worth of junk, <laughs> uh, but it's good junk, and we like the junk. So I want to use it. The last person who did the other tutorial put it in uh, 3D Max, but I don't like Max, and I like Blender, so I'm going to show you how to do it in Blender. So first I'm going to open up my blender. I'm using version 2.81 because that's my jam. Uh, then we're going to import it in our PSK. Now, 
somebody said that it's not turned on by default I've always had it on by default so that's that you need to have a PS a K PSA importer selected here I don't know where I got this from probably should look that up too before I did this but quick Google search for uh, PSA PSK import and you should be golden so when we're inside our blender we're going to import our PSA uh, PSK because um, when it comes to PSA and PSK you have to have a skeleton in first and then import the animation you can't import the animation first then import a skeleton it don't work that way because you know like with FBX when you just select the skeleton and just bring the animation in any other kind of animation yeah they don't like that so uh, skeleton first then animation so let's figure out who we're gonna pick it's kinda easy and hands down who I would pick the greatest character who they need to bring back in Mortal Kombat 12 the one and only Quan Chi he's my favorite <laughs> so I'm gonna bring in Quan Chi and we're gonna look at his stuff Although, I keep trying not to say it like Squanchy from like, uh, what's that? Rick and Morty? It's Quanchy, not Squanchy. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course my computer would decide to freeze up today. Okay, so to select your skeletons, we're going to have to find the model. So bypass all these animation folders and look for uh, the person's name. So F, J, C, K, P, I think I'm going to the player. PL, don't pick the PL, those are just textures. Here we go, Quan Chi. Um, not sure which one I want, but I'll just see if Quan Chi A has something. Okay. So if you got the right folder, it'll say Skeletal Mesh, and that's the one we want. And I want all of Quan Chi, not just his arm and leg and stuff like that. So let's wait for him to come in. Okay. And there's our Sorcerer Supreme. Well, Necromancer. <laughs> He's so cool. Now I hate this look, so I'm just going to put my space bar and then type in smooth, shade smooth, so he's like not pixelated. And now we got him in here. It's time for us to upload his animations. So we need to switch over to animation mode. So go up to the very top and select the animation button. And that gives us this wonderful animation layout, which is great. Next, we're going to select the skeleton because, again, PSA is like, just because you have a skeleton in here doesn't mean we need to see which one to go to. <laughs> so you got to make sure that the skeleton is selected before you import the PSA. So let's do that now by going to File, Import, and then PSA. And we'll navigate back to that Mortal Kombat folder. And we're going to go to Anim. No. So anim, there's a number of animation folders in here. There's anim CV, which is like, I think they're pose mode when you select them. Um, then you scroll down, you have uh, anim fat, which is their fatalities. And then anims, I think it's just their plain old animations. So Quan Chi is right here, it's animation set. And then you see all of their animations. So I'm just gonna press A to select everything and then import the PSA. So we're going to wait for it all to come through. It used to turn white. That's when I used to know everything was loading. There we go. So I like to click on it until it turns white and then when it goes back to normal, that's when you know. But I bet if your computer isn't a potato, it probably won't turn white. You just got to wait for it to finish loading that. So it's going to take a second. I really do like Quan Chi. I love his voice. When he first came out on Mortal Kombat, he used to scare me. But then I saw him beat the other dude with his leg, and I fell in love with him ever since. So as you see, we got a timeline down here with our frames, and you see our guy is animated and moving. But if you want to see all the rest of the animations, all you have to do is come over here to Dope Sheet, and we're going to switch it from Dope Sheet to Action Editor. And then right here, you'll see all the animations that he has. Part in the slow frame rate. I'm it's like my computer is slow because I'm recording this. So you can see all the stuff that he has. His wind pose. He does something. Yes. <laughs> 
Oh man, he's so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to fangirl. All right, so once you got the animations in, it's all good from there. You can export them or transfer them or retarget them and do whatever you want with them. You know, have fun with your stuff. Um, and that's that's really it. If you want, you can even put in somebody else's animations or, on their skeleton. But I'm not sure how that'll make them like work. So let's let's just see what happens. I'm gonna put it in pose mode real quick. Default mode, please, Laura Quan Chi. So I'm going to select the skeleton and let's see what other animations we can play with real quick. Mm. Um, Cassie. <laughs> Cassie! Let's see. Special tag victory. I wonder they had intros. So. <laughs> so I do notice that the female skeletons because I did this before with uh, actually Sonya's skeleton uh, Sonya's animations on Quan Chi's skeleton the female skeletons are a little bit shorter than the male one so you see some uh, compression going on in there is that his jaw? oh wow look at his jaw it's totally broke the animation is the fatality itself Alright, so that's really it. It's not much to it. When it's easy like this, it's the tutorials I love the most. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with the animations, and I hope that it helps your project out. This is going to be one of my last tutorials for the year before the new year happens, but I'm going to try to cram it in some more. If you guys got any animations or something that you think I would like, send them my way, and I'll be happy to share them with everybody. Cause anyway, I kind of got to learn how to end videos. See you in the next video. Good luck with your projects. Bye.